Hi there, this is me your friend Deepak and I welcome you to yet another video of IT Job Matter. First of all, I would like to thank you all from bottom of my heart for making this group so big and now we are becoming bigger. Once again, thanks a lot and keep watching. Let's start with today's topic. Most of you have asked me to make video on this topic and I know there is a reason behind it. This is the topic from where question can be easy, moderate and tough. And that's why interviewer prefers to ask question from this topic from all experience range main film developer in interview. So friends, let's start with today topic. So today topic is con parameter. Con parameter or a condition parameter is an optional parameter which can be coded at job or exec statement in GCL. Basically, con parameter is used to test the return code or codes of a preceding job step or steps and it decides following step will be executed or bypassed based on the condition code and return code of the previous step. As you might be knowing that return code of a step can vary from 0 to 4095 where 0 means successful execution, 12 means severe error and 16 means terminal error. Now before we understand how con parameter works let's see the syntax of a con parameter so this is how con parameter syntax looks like there we write like con equals code comma operator comma step name where code can vary from 0 to 4095 and operator value can be gt lt ge le eq and any where gt equals greater than lt means less than g means greater than and equals le means less than and equals and eq means equal and any means not equal and step name is a name of the step which rc will be tested here so here i have given two example of con parameter like con 12 le con 12 le step 1 so this is how this condition are checked and one more thing if here if you see here I have not specified the step name and here I have specified the step name so there is a basic difference between this if you specify the step name then it will particularly check the return code of that step to test and if you do not specify the step name so in this case it validates return code of all previous step and if any of them meet the condition the con parameter returns true and in this case step execution gets bypassed so friends now let's try to understand how this con parameter comparison works with the help of one example this is one example using which we will try to understand how con works so if you see in first example I have written con 12 le so this is how it works it checks if 12 is less than equal to return code of previous step if this condition becomes true step execution will not take place it will get bypassed and if this condition becomes false so in this case execution of current step will take place suppose previous step return code is 4 then it will check each 12 less than or equal to 4 so no it's a false so it means proceed with the execution suppose previous step return code is 8 so it will evaluate whether 12 is less than or equal to 8 no it's a false so in this case also it will proceed with the execution now suppose previous step return code is 16 so 12 is less than 16 or not so it's a true 12 is less than 16 so in this case as this statement has become true so in this case step will get bypassed it will not go for further execution likewise you can understand this example as well the only difference is here it was checking for any previous step but here it will check for only step 
one return code. Friends, the way we code one check in con parameter, we can code for multiple check as well in con, and this is how we code. And we need to separate each check by comma and this comma is treated as or but maximum 8 condition can be coded in the con parameter. In few minutes we will try to understand this example as well and I will be telling you how only and even works. So as I said con parameter can be coded at job label and step label. So suppose if con is coded at step label and suppose at that particular step condition becomes false then system executes that step and suppose if at that step condition becomes true then system bypass that step execution and terminates the job so this is what happen if you code con parameter at step level and if condition parameter is coded at job level then all the step except the first step validates the same condition parameter using the return code of previous step before execution. So if con parameter is true then that step get bypassed. If the con parameter value is false then that step gets executed. So friends these are three combination on which con parameter can be coded. Con parameter can be coded at step label at job label and at job label at the same time at step label as well. So friends this is how we specify con parameter at step label and this is how its validation takes place which we have already tried un to understand and this is how we code con parameter at job label. When con parameter is coded at job statement, the condition is tested for every job step. When the condition is true at any particular job step, it is bypassed along with the job steps following it. For example, I will try to explain this example here. So we'll try to understand with this example. This is one job where we have three steps and at the job label we have specified the con parameter which is 5LE equals 5 le now the return code test will be performed on each step except the first one so first step will get executed for sure now the second step execution time will come now at the second step it will check the return code of previous step if the return code of previous step is 0 1 2 3 4 then condition will becomes false so in this case step will execute let's say the return code of uh, step 1 is 3 so is 5 less than or equal to 3 false so in this case step 2 will get executed let's say I'm getting return code as 8 from step 1 so in a step 2 it will check is 5 less than or equal to 8 so it is true so in this case this step and remaining step will get bypassed so friends this is how we specify we code con parameter at job label and step label and if you notice here that if a step abends the system bypasses all the following step in the job so there can be scenario when you want a particular step to be executed even if all the step abends or any step abends to achieve this GCL provides us con equals even and con equals only so when we code con equals even at a particular step it executes that step even if prior step abended and we when we code con equals only at any particular step then that particular step execute only if prior step abandoned. So friends now we'll try to see some con parameter related interview asked question and this is the very first question. So in this question they usually ask how to code multiple con parameter on one step. 
so this is how we code multiple corn parameter on one step here you can see I have coded three corn parameter on step two it means step two will get executed if return code from all previous steps are 17 or greater or if return code from step 1 is 89 or less or only if any previous step abnormally abandoned so based on return code which I have mentioned here in the brackets you too can see here that when this count and when this count will return true or false and this is the reason why I said like return code of all previous step for this count parameter has to be 17 or greater and for this 89 or less second question which can be asked here they will ask suppose step 1 return code is 12 now what condition you will code on step 2 so that it will be executed to so answer for this would be cond equals 12 any as these two cond statement will return true as return code of step 1 is 12 and this one will return false now as this one these two will return true so step 2 will get bypassed and this one will return false so it means step 2 will get executed and this can be the third question which has been asked in almost all the interview for me so the question is like a JCL has 10 step how to run step 3 and step 7 only without using con parameter or even then else statement so uh, right uh, if we are not supposed to use con statement if we are not supposed to use if if then st else statement then we have another option called IB edit see using IB edit in JCL we can specify the library where my actual JCL is residing and using internal reader command here I have specified like execute only step 3 and step 7 here we have another probable question uh, suppose cond is coded at job and step level both so which cond will have first priority so answer for this is like the one which is specified at job level will have first priority and the one which is at step level will have the second priority so guys that's all for this video if you have any question or any doubt regarding this video do post it in the comment section below and I will try to include it in my next video and if you have not subscribe to my channel please 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 click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more such videos thanks for watching i hope to see you in my next video bye bye